Hi everybody. This is part two of my sound fitting video for this class 20. I'd hoped to get it done a few days ago, but unfortunately my original class 20 were faulty. Uh, I had a fault with circuit board, so I couldn't turn the lights off at one end. Um, so rather than fit the sound to that, I decided to send it back um, and I've got a replacement. So yeah, I'll go through everything. Um, the first video explains what I'm going to fit, but it's basically a lockdown 5. I'm going to use lock, um, Southwest Digital Sound to start with. And I'm going to use one of these Trainomatic um, SPPN power packs, uh, which is compatible with Lockdown 5. And it's nice and small, so it, it'll fit in the space, and I'll show you that in a second. And I've fitted a double iPhone Mini, um, which in all my tests I've done uh, sounds very good. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking this is a good speaker anyway. It's just in a slightly different position to where I anticipated putting it. I've also got my decoder ready, um, which has already got the sound loaded on, and I've soldered on the Stay Alive. Um, I won't say it's too hard to solder on, but you do need to be reasonably confident with soldering. Um, but if you are getting a decoder from me, um, you can always ask me to solder it on for you. There'll be no extra charge for doing that, so just let me know at the time. But yeah, it's a Plux 22 decoder. Just pushes in. And the Stay Alive is going to go here. And I'll tape it all down in a minute. But what I was going to just show you first is how I did the speaker. So I'll just use this to point with. Um, but it's also the screwdriver that I used for the job. So the standard speaker's here, but to take it out you have to take these six screws out, which hold the circuit board down. Um, and then there's two little brass screws underneath which hold the speaker. So ignore the four screws that are on top of the speaker because they're not the they won't let you fully take it out. It has to be done from underneath. And then it leaves you with a nice flat area where you can connect the speaker. You can either connect it to the two solder pads which are left on top, which is where the factory speaker would touch against. Or oh, there's two pads underneath, which I've used just because I thought they were a little bit neater and it meant not adding any extra height here. This is going to be a bit tricky because I don't want to damage any of the detail on the model. But I will start by pushing that plug into there. And the other end. And then this is where it's got a little bit tricky because I've got to put this speaker back in place just over. That's that's a snug fit, that's not going to move anywhere. And this will just fit back over the top. And there we go, that's back on. There's two screws, like an old Backman Class 20, one at each end. So they're going to they're going to go back in in a minute and that'll hold it all together. And I'm going to test it and have a little play with it on my track. And I'll, I'll show you some shots of it running around. I'll probably follow it up with a longer video of it running and some of the extra functions as well. But for the time being, that's how you fit it. Everything I've mentioned, so the, the stay alive, the decoder, even the screwdriver and the tape, it's all available on my website. So if it's any use to you, Take a look on there and you'll be able to find everything. I'll put links to it in the bottom. But yeah, thanks for watching the video and hopefully it's been useful for people.